fuck you right to the early morning. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on YouTube, it's the Big K Cops 360 here, and I've got to be slightly quiet uh, just for the good of this video. Uh, however, uh, I'm recording this mainly because I'm going on camp for the next few days, so I won't be able to get anything recorded. So I'm going to get this recorded and I'll schedule upload it for like two days in the future. So anyway, AMD have finally uh, announced their uh, alternative to G-Sync, which is dubbed Adaptive Sync, sorry. Now, of course, this used to be called FreeSync, AMD FreeSync. They showed this off, I think, at CES last year or at GDC last year, where it was like their own version, their own spin, and it was kind of like a stab at, it vid um, stab at NVIDIA because G-Sync requires uh, manufacturers to uh, pay NVIDIA uh, a fee, a licensing fee for using G-Sync. However, this is not the case. You're not charging uh, developers for free sync or for adaptive sync. However, don't be fooled. Firstly, remember that you still need the compatibility. It's not necessarily free because let's be honest, nothing in life is free. However, uh, let's just go. Let's just get straight over it. So, firstly, monitors. Uh, wait. Firstly, let, let me get into like the basics of everything. So, adaptive sync has been uh, integrated into the Display Port. 1.2a standard so it is part of a display port standard please keep that in mind that is extremely good this is nothing proprietary it's straight into display port 1.2a just remember that uh, AMD said themselves that uh, they're working closely with vendors to bring our uh, uh, adaptive sync monitors to market within 6 to 12 months so towards the end of the year and towards the start of 2015 uh to have free sync you need to have uh, uh, a free sync i'm just gonna call it call, i'm just gonna call it free sync it's just so much easier but you need to have a free sync capable monitor a capable uh, or compatible radio and gpu and obviously a display port connection along with the necessary drivers uh there are certain gpus that will only work with this natively from the start and of course, this is pretty gay for me because these GPUs don't include my 7870. But you know, when you come out with something new like this, this shit's gonna happen, and that's what you get. That's pretty much what's gonna happen if you don't make your uh, your hardware or whatever completely proprietary. But regardless, GPUs compatible with uh, FreeSync include the 290X, the 290, the 260X, and the 260. And obviously, they, I'm talking about the R9 and R7 series of graphics cards. So pretty much the new ones that came out. Remember the 270X, 280X. Uh, 250, 250X, they're all rebrands pretty much. Um, however, APUs compatible with FreeSync also include Kabini APUs, Tmash or Temash, Beamer, and Mullins APUs are also compatible with FreeSync. So if you don't have any of what I just said, you won't be able to get FreeSync or Project FreeSync or Adaptive VSync, whatever you want to call it. You won't be able to have it natively until you buy one of those cards or a future Radeon GPU, which I assume would natively support FreeSync. Unless, of course, they do a second rebrand, which they won't do. Um, when AMD, this is, I'm all reading Q&A right now. Oh, not white. I'm all, I'm reading Q&A right now. Now, one of the questions was, how is this different from NVIDIA's G-Sync? As I said before, and this is, quote, while both technologies have similar benefits, G-Sync uses expensive proprietary hardware. In contrast, Project FreeSync utilizes the industry standard DisplayPort Adaptive Sync specification to promote wider adoption, lower cost of ownership, and a broad ecosystem of compatibility. So as I said before, this isn't uh, proprietary, the proprietary zone. This isn't something you no know, typical NVIDIA where they make everything proprietary and you know how NVIDIA is but you know AMD this is what they do they're more they're more about improving the entire scene and as a result of that they kind of sacrifice the market share I mean let's be honest uh, NVIDIA has does have a greater GP market share than AMD does however AMD does like to move forward they like to put pressure on NVIDIA which is great for consumers and that's why a lot of people love AMD so anyway that's pretty much it guys 
Remember, FreeSync is adapted into the Visa uh, or VESA VESA 1.2a uh, DisplayPort standard, so that's very good. You will see it into we'll see it integrated into a bunch of uh, monitor manufacturers, and that's great. That's great. It really is. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and tell me if you're pumped for FreeSync, aka Adaptive Sync, aka Adaptive VSync, or not really Adaptive VSync. Thanks for watching. Blah blah blah. Goodbye.